Hi everyone, I'm Laurentiu and welcome to the second volume of Pirate Games I found from Java. Pirates of the Lost World feels like a cheap imitation of the first Prince of Persia game. The controls are clunky, the animations have a delay between your button press and the character reacting, the level designs are ugly and all you do is platform in this ugly gameplay mechanics. I don't recommend it again. Sid Meier's Pirates is an incredible port of the old games on Java. Just like the original games, you start by creating your character, you choose his nationality and special abilities, then you are welcome to roam free in an appreciably big map for a Java game. And from here you are free to pirate your way around. You can build alliances with other pirates, find crew members, attack ships and cities, you can sell plundered goods, find hidden treasures, also get different types of ships, you can have a lighter ship that is faster but carries less cargo, or a big ship that carries a lot of cargo but is slower, this world fighting is still as annoying as ever, even on Java, you have to parry in the right spot, and it doesn't feel that good. As the combat in the other Sid Meier's ones didn't feel good either, but overall the game gives you a lot of freedom. Basically, you can pirate your way in the in-game engine, and the game is pretty good. Sure, because it's a Java game, you might feel like the game is lacking, because it, it lacks many options, compared to the PC versions or the other big versions. But for a Java game, this game gives you enough freedom for a pirate game. I mean, it's the most free roam pirate game you can have. Actually, it's the only free roam pirate game you have on Java. And it's pretty good. The game has various difficulty settings, and the difficulty settings are split in eras, which is an incredible little historical detail. See, the dates are roughly accurate. It was easier or harder to be a pirate depending on the time they did their plundering, and seeing this in a Java game is incredible. And I'm amazed by the depth in the gameplay. You can romance with the lady at the tavern, you can negotiate with town leaders, you can get stuck on land, you get to speak with people in tavern, you can operate your ships, you have to watch for your crew to have enough food, you can sell the ships you capture and you can modify your ship. Also you have to watch so that your crew has enough food, you can buy new food or sell food or sell goods. You can trade everything you have, you can leave money in the bank. Basically the game is the best pirate experience you can get on Java. It's fantastic how much content and how much depth it has for a Java game. If you're looking for a great pirate game for Java, this is it. I know that nowadays Java games aren't that popular anymore, but I recommend you play this one, even today. It's worthy of being played by how much fun you can squeeze out of it. Gold Miner's Pirate Treasure is a fun game. I don't think I have to insist on reviewing this one, as just from watching the video you already get the idea of what the game is and how it works, but just know that it's a fun game, and I recommend it to you. The Pirate's Rat Zvivong Large Cheese is a whack-a-mole game. What you see in the video is all you do, and as you might have guessed, each hole is a number key on your phone. The game is the usual whack-a-mole game you get on Java. Crazy Pirates is an aim and shoot game. The controls are horrible, as you need a lot of time to truly get used to them, and you forget them easily after you stop playing the game. The game also has all sorts of enemies and even boss battles, but even if the visuals are nice and the gameplay could have been fun, the controls hinder the game of being great. Carrot Mania is a very basic platformer. All you do is platform. That's it. But at least the platforming is nicely done. The game is cozy, it's very simplistic, but still enjoyable. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, 
please see the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.